All right, let's do the Eternal Labyrinth with that cost of the offering to the goddess, which you'll acquire by getting them in the maps, which I, I, I plan to make a video showing that off separate. But uh, go ahead and go on in. Let's go cast our buffs. And then we need to swap this out for a greater multiple projectiles. So we'll use Barrage for a single target, and uh, I'll, I'll explain more uh, if we complete it, because we already ripped once, and that's obviously not good for gameplay, Kappa. Because we actually... I think we ripped on the second or third one once. All right. So the thing with this is you need to really take your time. Um, in fact, I should probably reroll these some of these flasks. I'll reroll maybe these two for extra armor or something. They should probably be better flasks, but I just had them then and I'm like, oh, oh well, whatever. damage but I'll mention the upgrades and like what we've done to the character after we complete this because the most important part is we complete it on uh, the fir first try first first try that you guys are seeing here on YouTube because technically this is, this is my second try because we we didn't dodge one of his attacks and sometimes that's just how Azaro is if you're playing any evasion base you just literally have to go in and RNG your way there I mean, or you can try to you know get good and dodge Oh shoot, I didn't hit the other one. Oh no, 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 there was a, I, I did, okay, well, rip me. Oh, we're good, okay. Well, I guess we're good. Give me those skeletons. I got the skeleton shrine. Oh, we got another armor shrine. I wish I could go in to Zaro with that, but unfortunately the shrine effects go away. The crafting recipe. <sighs> I must want to run like triple granite flasks. Actually, that wouldn't be a bad idea. Because, like, the life flask, I literally go from 100 HP to zero. So, we'll go ahead and uh, place our totems. And we also have a different set of totems here. Oh, shoot. I didn't. I need to be real careful now. Okay. So, this is Barrage. I don't even want to pop more than one of the life flasks that we need to. That, 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 that attack equals our RIP. So it says uh, it gains extra damage ooh, to whatever one if we hit the uh, the shrine. It's fine. I'm not even worried about it. No impasse. That's somewhere cool. I'm just being really cautious. I'm trying to keep him in my sights. Because if he hits me literally once, it's game over. Um, he can hit me and I could technically dodge or evade it, but um, those different conduits do different things if you mouse over and I'll tell you what it does um, if you want to click on them. Uh, let's go ahead and swap out of this. I don't really need GMP anyways. Um, so I just threw in a bunch of flasks here because of the trap. It's not because of Azaro. Um, Azaro, I did throw on this granite flask, which grants us extra evasion, so... Okay, these are all golden doors. Okay. We're not gonna worry too much about that. Is this where I get the golden key? Uh, I have to, I think, progress through that, so I might actually have to get this key. Which is kind of unfortunate. Ah, we're gonna go this way. Okay. But the important part is to take it slow, because if you fail, it really sucks. Because it's not just go back in and just go do it again. You lose a little bit of XP. It's You have to do the trial or buy the trial off of someone. Um, which buying is really not that big of a deal. It's not expensive or anything. It's just it was more of a hassle, honestly, than anything. Uh, I don't want to complete it on my own, but I also wanted to mention that if you can't do it for whatever reason, and there are some characters that literally cannot do it on their own, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna touch anything that could potentially like open up. Like, oh, you're stunned. Even though I can pop something, I'm. I'm not gonna risk it. Even though like I really, ba really badly would like to do that. Um, little like chest over there, the little strong box. Does it work? Like we we're level 87, so this should be pretty easy. But um, again, it just comes down to requiring to need a little bit of RNG potentially. Woo! 
That's a lot of damage. Alright, we got like a... Oh, got low on that one, but I'll be okay. I'm gonna go back. So like the, the the final one is actually really difficult, um, compared to the rest of them, because they're a lot longer. And when you do the final trials, which I'll make a separate video on if we complete. Well, either way, I'll make it. Not if we complete this. Okay. I probably should just get. I mean, I could keep the double remove bleeding because that can actually be a problem as well. So this is over here. We just gotta go to the right. And the important part is to take these slow. Because they are very, very dangerous. It's mostly that, like, they put these little things here that, like, they'll do damage to you. But with ballistas, it makes things a little bit easier. Wish you could place the ballista like wherever you wanted. But I'm pretty sure it just places near near where your character's at. They, they add a lot more like things in the way to make things more Madonna difficult, of course, because it's the final trial. It needs to be difficult though, and I, I like that it is difficult. <laughs> I see that strong box I want to do, but uh, as much as I'm all about doing like stupid stuff for entertainment, I, I really don't like doing the Zaro over and over. In fact, I do like farming it, but for some reason it's just like, I like being able to complete it. And obviously for the sake of the playthrough, it will it'll be much better if we actually complete it. Oh. Wait. I don't think it's the right way. I think we need to go this way. There are bosses in here. They're kind of like secret in a sense, because sometimes they'll be in some like obscure area. All right, so we should go to the right. As long as we don't end up going downward, we're fine. Ah, of course, we're going downward. Of course. Uh, hopefully, it's not too far away. Oh, where the heck is it? Is it there? That's so weird. That's where we need to go. I'm guessing it's this route too, because it. it for the most part, it's, al it's always the most difficult one. Maybe get something good? I got a jewel off of that. Right, let's go. Thank you very much. Oh, let's be out of chaos. Okay, that, that's basically the cost of all. That used to be the cost of it. I haven't actually checked out the cost of it. I'm good on I'm good on the silver key. All right, we're on the next trial. The time comes to strike, an uh, like I mentioned before, I should just get this double granite flask to be honest. Is to dance with death. I think two life flasks is enough. Uh, the only thing I don't have maxed out is fire resist, but I want. Um, hmm. Wait, can I not pop it twice? Yeah, I can pop it perfectly twice. Let me go ahead and re-roll this, and then we're gonna actually fill up the flask. Let's ignite. We want like some type of increased. Um, I guess that kind of works. Oh wait, reduced duration. I just want as much duration actually as possible. Evasion rating. That's 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 fine. And uh, what we're gonna do is uh, smart game mechanics. We're gonna go ahead and uh, recover. I'm gonna move these as far as the position goes. So I can hit one, two, and then three, four. So I'm gonna fill up the flask over here. That's what we're doing real quick. So I wanna go into this being as safe as possible. Whew. It's a hard thing, dude. Hard thing. Uh, it currently has what? 54, all right. There are ads that technically spawn in. Hit him, okay. Seems to do one more group. Okay. 60? 60, all right, we in business now.
final one is... It's, all, it's always the one that you get ripped. Oh, shoot. Again, don't, don't do that. Don't be stupid like me and do it like mid. My mana is gone. So that gives some extra boost. Oh! Oh! That was close. Spooked me, dude. Oh! Oh, that was close. I was summoning my golem. Final one is is coming up though. Oh. <laughs> well, hello, Silly. How you doing, mate? All right, where we gotta go for this one? Uh, pretty much just straight. Oh, I should probably swap that out. The problem that I have with Barrage, it's great for single targets. It's supposed to be like one of the best, um, but it locks you in that like animation, so it makes it a little bit more difficult. Oh my! Get me out of there! No, I'm not doing that one. Oh my gosh, did you guys have any spike traps that were, 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 were chilling right there? That's a no-go for me. That was 100% a no-go. I'll go around some other way, even if we have to... Oh, there's a bunch more spike traps. I, the reason why I'm kind of scared scared of spike traps is because you can get spike trapped into spike trapped, and uh, it, it's, it's not fun. It's not fun. I'll do the fire one. The fire one doesn't spook me out that much at all. Fire one, I would say, is shoot. The little saw blades can be kind of difficult too sometimes, but. Uh, we'll open up this one. This one opens up uh, somewhere over there, but we'll, we'll, we'll play it patiently. Oh! That's right, we have uh, not that much fire res. Remember that, but it's fine again. <sighs> Sometimes I see those spikes and I'm like ready for more spikes, but that's literally the only spikes there are. I could throw Arctic Armor to get extra uh, physical reduction. All right, it's not it. Uh, is it one more after this? All right, one more. One more. Oh, is it? Oh, it's the final mo. We got. We gotta get our flask. We gotta get our flask. <laughs> Class needs to be maxed out here. And most of the monsters aren't too hard here. I mean, what are we at? Uh, we're at 87. The area is considered 75. I'm just, I'm honestly pretty nervous about this one. I actually haven't done this in a while. I mean, I played Flicker and Raider, but like I kind of just held it down. I mean, there's nothing you can do too much. But here, here's, um, if you mouse it over, it tells you what it does. So it, it grants him. Um, uh, fire uh, damage reduction, and it grants some extra fire damage, and uh, huh. okay, extra freeze chance too. Oh my gosh, it's this one. Okay, I think this is RNG. Oh my! 
Oh my. Look at this f battlefield. Oh my gosh. Uh, I forgot to put in barrage again. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. That was actually really lucky. I think we might have dodged that one. Oh. Oh, we got it! We did it, boys! Oh. I know I, I didn't, like, really take any damage except for, like, one time where we got really low on the second phase. But we did it! I'm so... I'm so... A bunch of superior. Oh, we got superior blista. What, uh, what, uh, oh, but which one were you using? I forgot what blista we're using. Uh, that was a siege blista. Oh, perfect. That's what we're actually using, right? I could have sworn it just said siege blista. Did I not pick it up or something? Am I blind? I swear it said siege blista. Oh, well, whatever. All that matters is now we also happen to have a uh, enchantment that we can throw on the helmet, which is basically what you want to use this for. And hopefully we can get like the uh, flicker, or not flicker, well actually if I got a flicker one it's not bad. Um, it's like extra damage per frenzy charge I believe. Ancestral protector, a totem placement speed, okay well. Not gonna be helping us out, but the more important thing is we finally ascended to the last section over here and that now we're going to go ahead and be able to have it so the projectiles will chain one plus time and then basically continue going off i don't know if it's gonna be easy to even see that off that but uh, now that we've completed that uh, let's go ahead and go back to town and then what we're going to do for this part of our playthrough is we're also going to defeat one extra like boss and like I said, I, I plan to make a video that will be specifically going over all of the trials, because I know we didn't show them, it just kind of is random. Um, but we're going to go ahead and go back to the hideout, kind of continuing on our maps and stuff. But I want to go ahead and actually swap the uh, flasks too, because we were using different flasks. And I still... Well, actually, I can still keep my flasks. Hmm. I'm debating on how I want to do this, because what I want to do is... I want to show off all of the areas, and the reason why I keep flasks specifically in my inventory is when I have any of these trials, I like to rush them super fast and I just pop one flask, and it makes things much easier. Uh, because some of them are a little bit long, but uh, it's not the end of the world. What, what do we have in here? Oh, I normally don't run the granite flask here. But uh, we completed it, and we're going to go ahead and talk to Zana, and we're going to go to the uh, Britannia's Citadel, which uh, we're going to go ahead and do a map over here. Uh, so, now that we completed the, the trial here, I want to show you guys what we've changed. So, I, I put a skin on the Hope Shredder uh, bow. It's the same bow, it's just there's another skin on it. it the name of the skin that we have is the Silver Tongue. It is pretty much the coolest bow uh, in the game for looks. For, for, for actual practicality, not so much. Um, for our helm, I don't think we've really changed too many things. Um, I think we've had this amulet for a while. We might have swapped one of these opal rings for a different opal ring because uh, it just gives us extra elemental damage. We also got the Hiri's Demise. Mine is corrupted so instead of getting three life on hit I get 0.5% of cold damage leeches life which is obviously much better but the reason why you run it is for the adds the uh, one to two cold damage from uh, attacks per dexterity, extra fire damage, lightning damage and then you can get an, a ring where it makes so if your opponent is like frozen, shocked, or ignited, they will take uh, more damage, and it's on a ring. I don't have it yet. I forgot how much it actually costs, but that we will eventually hopefully get one of those, um, and they'll just take a bunch of damage. You can actually run double those, and then you can just scale it and get crazy. A huge upgrade is Hiri's Ire. So instead of that bonus where we had with, uh, was it the Ashren? We got like uh, fire damage added to attacks. Now we're just getting a bunch of extra cold damage to our attacks, but it's not just for that. That is actually really good, and it doesn't 
increase your DPS, but the main reason why you want Hero's Iron is it's got great evasion, and it gives you dodge, attack, and spell hits, which, well, this build is kind of squishy, um, but if we are able to go ahead and just not take any damage, that obviously makes things much easier, and since we pretty much are at no XP, we'll do the Metamorph after the, the big boss fight, too. What level is there? 72. All right, so we're doing another one of the new bosses for uh, this league, which would be kind of cool to kind of check out, but... Our, our, our clear speed is so much faster now uh, with all these upgrades here. And it's only 72 areas, so it should be an absolute face roll. I'm gonna pick that up just in case it's good. Although 9 times out of 10, it's not gonna be an upgrade. It's it's very rare that we're gonna get an upgrade at this point in the game. And there's one bow that a lot of people like. Like, they, they really like the Death's Opus. Um, I haven't spec for crit, and it does offer a lot more crit uh, damage, which is quite nice. But, uh, I don't really need it. I honestly feel like if I scale my frenzy charges... Wait, something's not active. Oh, something. Okay. I guess those were on... Oh, it's because I think uh, the helm with the enchant, it reset it because they were in there. Gotta remember to throw down my totems over here. And so the reason why I swapped to what is it, whatever totem I'm using right now is because it doesn't clutter the screen, which is the problem that I had with that artillery one before. And then the shrapnel, I was like, it, it only hit things super close by. So I didn't like it for that reason. Now we're just melting content. Feels good. Alright. We got pretty much everything that. Oh, we get everything in that corner. Oh, we got. Oh, we didn't get the currency one. Bad positioning. Okay. Amulet to reveal. I think I already showed off the unveil mechanic, but um, you actually don't really do it so you can get a good item all the time. You just do it so you can go ahead and have like more things revealed. And the reason why we do it, ooh, pride, physical damage. That's actually pretty nice. Look at this guy. What is this? I actually don't know what this item is. So let's go ahead and check it out. Uh, strengths from passives or transform to dexterity. Fluid motion. I don't think this one's worth anything, but, you know, you never know. I should actually use this thing called Mercury, I believe. And it lets me, like, check it out in real time. Uh, without having to go to PvE trade. But I know some people don't... Uh, yeah, this... Unfortunately, it's not really worth anything. China. Okay. We're good. I'm just so happy that we, we finished the, uh... The ascendancy and I, I know it looked easy but it it literally comes down to me not getting hit once or I guess if I get hit it would have to roll as a dodge and then I get to it and not get hit if that makes sense but this should be pretty easy oh he's, he needs to be hit inside of this little bubble He's frozen. There we go. Now, I love the uh, the frozen and knockback. It makes it just much more difficult for things to go in on us. And since my last playthrough, I actually made a whole new character. Uh, I'll probably end up showing him off because I think it's really cool. Um, it's a flicker strike build and it plays completely different from bow. But I don't think it's strong enough. Uh, this league, like this league, is actually much more difficult. Oh, I was supposed to throw on barrage. I could probably just go ahead and do this real quick. And you'll see, you'll see, you'll see how great barrage is for bosses. Watch this. Oh, he's already low enough. I mean, it was a low map, so I guess yeah, it's to be expected. All right, the Redeemer's ire. New boss. Let's go. Time for boss fight. This time I may show mercy. Oh, it's. I think we did this one before, right? Or is this supposed to be like a harder version of it? Dang, she's melting. Uh, good time to summon my golem. I'm waiting. Oh, she hits! She's pretty good! Okay. Please don't make me walk all the way back. Ah. And that's the downside of dying. But at least I'm playing this build. Because it's quite fast. Oh, okay. Hold on. Where's that thing? Get back here, the Torment Spirit. Oh, oh, did it go away? 
Unlucky, man. But yeah, we should be able to melt the boss relatively quick. Sometimes there's phases on boss fights where um, you actually can't deal any damage. Oops. Let's go, let's go and put the uh, portal right. Whatever that is. This is more loads more. Oh, okay. Let's put it over here so I don't actually click on the wrong thing. I'm guessing she does cold damage, so maybe uh, was a sapphire flask could be useful. Look at this guy. Oh. Dude, that thing looks cool. The heck is that? Oh, we got a new watchstone over here. That's cool. All right, I'm gonna slam that thing in real quick. And it's gonna convert him to what? Red maps? No. One more for red maps. Oh, we already have red maps over here. All right. All right, let's go back and then summon the boss since we're only at like 1% XP. Uh, is it 50 more? Yeah, it's cl close enough to being cleared. What was it? Okay, there we go. All right, so, I mean, at this point, if we rip, it doesn't really matter. I like getting the currency item. Oh, this one drops additional currency items too. I feel like they should really make it so like the currency items is one icon so you don't like have to uh, really decide here. Abyssal Jewel. Abyssal Jewels are pretty good, but... Uh, this one doesn't have anything s special. I also look for, like, life regeneration. Oh, gosh. Drops map item. Okay. Powerful crits. Oh, okay, yeah. I don't, I don't like dealing with life regen. Uh, but this one gives currency, so I want to run that one. Um... Extra fire damage and hex proof, but I don't really like uh, cast any um, curses. I don't really care about additional jewelry, but it still does modify the uh, item item over here. So, yeah, whatever. Every time I see this chest, I always think it's supposed to be currency. Anyways, I'm just gonna do it like this. We'll see how fast we can melt this. I don't really have good chaos resistance anymore. I actually like ripped it for this uh, quiver that we have currently. What's funny is that it looks so easy um, sometimes when you watch people play bow builds because like they never take any damage and it doesn't look dangerous, but a lot of times you're just one hit away from just completely ripping. So let's go and check out our loot over here. I really like that ice uh, axe skin. Sometimes though, people will just pay for the skin, so keep that in mind as well. And we got a, okay, so what does this do? Uh, extra damage, 21% chance of getting onslaught for four seconds on kill. That's kind of cool. Um, I'm not sure about the damage threshold. And to check these, you can kind of just throw in all of the stats. I'm just gonna keep it because of the skin though. Um, for now, I'll look that kind of stuff up later. Oh, this one gives Chaos Resistance and Projectile Speed. If it had a lot more modifiers on it, maybe. Uh, these can be quite great. Oh, we got Physical Attack and... Uh, attack and... Uh, or uh, Leech's Life and Mana. Uh, mana on kill, man. Um, I mean, if we just rolled off literally everything, maybe? <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, I just know that this... There are specific, like, flat items that you can actually save just because uh, people will buy them just to go ahead and try to craft off of the base uh, item. I'm not sure if that one is going to be one of them, uh, but I do know that I think it is. And Let's see. I'm just going to go ahead and throw these in here. Uh, some of them were quality, and that's the reason why I'm keeping them, uh, because when you have enough quality, you can go ahead and uh, modify them. Oh, that's not nice. I actually wanted to do a cast on crit build. Um, so maybe we'll we'll try to do something stupid with that later just for like entertainment purposes And Throw in all these now these I can get rid of or I can just give to my guild Which is usually what I'm gonna do with them. I don't think I need hypothermia anymore um, And that gives you more cold damage, which is quite nice um, I, I would just prefer to have like the swap right to barrage. It's just much better for uh, bosses in my opinion That's what I need Actually, we can throw this map in here because it's not too useful with its tier right now. I want to do like the higher tier maps. Less armor, all right. Well, that's not going to really affect me at all because we have no armor in the first place. I'm going to throw this in here. Um, we can oh, go ahead and unveil that item. What do we have for oh, about half an hour? So we'll go ahead and check in with this. Um, so I wanted to mention something. Oh, we can go Atlas mission. 
need oh, a map. Uh, where is it? She can purchase items. Sometimes, I didn't even know about this, but sometimes she'll actually have items that are actually worth a lot in here, and you can purchase them for, like, next to nothing. So it can definitely be worth it, but Maybe most times it, you're better off buying it from someone else. <laughs> They're like, sometimes, sometimes it can be okay, though, definitely. So don't skip out on it all the time. Uh, our elemental weakness, uh, so we lose a little bit of resistances, but uh, just dodge it, you know, no biggie, no problem. Oh, this is the one, was this the map we just did? The Fungal Hollow. I'm gonna, tr I'm gonna try this with Barrage real quick, just to see the clear time. Oh, this is another boss. So we have to spam maps of a very specific type in a corner. And that will allow you to do the bosses. I, I, yeah, I definitely prefer running this. It's just so much better. We're playing out content. Oh, what is this? This is a 76. All right. So these are relatively lower maps. Oh, it's just melting everything. Go ahead and do the boss right now. I feel like I'm melting real fast. All right. Oh, we gotta do this. All right. Let's let's watch how fast he melts. Oh, dude, he's he's like gonna get pushed back off the map. I wish you could push them off the map. That'd be kind of a cool thing. He's like trying to do like war cries. I guess he's just he's just definitely not doing anything though. China. Oh, Warf map. Ever since I switched to Barrage, it's just been so much better, honestly. Like, it, it hits so many times on the target. <laughs> it's so worth it. Because, uh, this is something- Oh! Wow, what the heck? I really wish you could find out what killed you in, in the game. Like, was it, like, chaos damage? Which, uh, most of the time it probably is. But we're also kind of low on life. Like, our life should be probably around 5k right now. I think 4.5 would be like pretty standard, but I wanted some more damage for the sake of well, it being more entertaining when I get closer to dying, right? But we have pretty much what I would say is near top tier uh, best in slot for our, our chest. I mean, our bow, if we scale enough frenzy chargers, I, I would argue that it's it's it's, it's pretty viable. Um, these things. Oh, this one drops a unique item, but this one drops maps, so we gotta go with the maps. Because unlike Diablo, unique unique items aren't always going to be like great. I just love watching them like getting drained real fast. Ooh. I can't leave too many enemies up too long because eventually they might actually hit. Oh, shoot. oh, I'm taking damage from ignite. Oh, okay, I'm shoot. Maybe I missed uh, Ashrend over here. Well, hello, Dragoon. How you doing, man? What's new with the, the Poe, or what's new just in general? In general, well, I'm looking forward to uh, Wilson, uh, which comes out in January. There's a lot of games coming out next year. I feel like 2019, I do want to make a best of uh, 2019 list. Right now, Devil May Cry is definitely, definitely like no doubt on that. We also got Trine 4, which I still want to play. <laughs> uh, I've just been kind of putting it off uh, for a while, but I do want to finish that game uh, for sure. Cool wins. Also, Darksiders Genesis, uh, I do want to finish that, but it, it, it it really wasn't the action RPG genre that I wanted. It's technically, yeah, it's an action RPG, but I wanted like a Diablo, Path of Exile action RPG, not like a hack and slash kind of a game. I still like the game and I still think it's good, but um, I was just looking forward to like another like action RPG with, I guess, more focused in on items. 
Uh, let's go ahead and go, oh, plus 10% quality, nice. Go ahead and get that real quick. So we can go ahead and get this for crafting later in life. Uh, well, okay, we'll go for this. It's pretty cool. Oh, actually, let me see this. I don't think it's good enough. Sometimes, like, you can get pretty decent items here. It's a little late to be prowling around these parts, huh? Yeah, it is. It oh, thank you so much, Red-Headed right Boy. Appreciate the host. How you doing, man? How was your stream? And uh, what game were you streaming? Let's go ahead and just merch on all you. those. And we'll go run some more maps. Uh, let's see what we have as far as, like, higher tier maps over here. Uh, oh! Okay, I'll save it for a, a, another video, but I do want to show off... Um, one of the coolest maps in the game. Oh, I think it's one of the coolest maps. I, do we need to talk to this guy? I think we need to kind of progress. By the trail of our quarry, I'd wager on a stronghold. Oh. I've marked it on your atlas. I serious might be able to get you there. Oh, okay. Socket watch zones here. Okay. Uh, wait. Does that does here mean like in this region? Like, does this count? Here, I don't. I don't know if it does. But I think we need to do like tower. I think we're supposed to do like tower, but let me let me talk to Zana and see what she says over here. Just chill, man. I gotta be up earlier. All right. Well, thanks, man. I appreciate the host. Be have a good one. Oh, we got another Citadel. Oh, shoot. Well, we do double Uber bosses or whatever they're called, the new bosses. Uh, we'll do double in this video, which would be cool. and we did the trial, which I'm actually really excited about that we completed that. Finally received security dragon uh, practice portal train. Uh, I gotcha. Oh, this is 72. All right, this is a, a face roll map for the most part. Should we go straight to the boss? I mean, honestly, this this map might not even be like that great for running in terms of like getting XP and stuff. Oh, shoot. I really need to run this tier 15 map that makes me immune to poison. I don't know if uh, we'll rip on this boss over and over again, though, because my chaos res maybe not the best if he hits for chaos. Because this is all new content to me, too. Is this the arena? Oh, this one has a lot of floors. But I'm guessing at the very top is where we gotta go. Ooh, that pop roll. Real huge. Uh, I'm picking up the small maps. Uh, sometimes I give them to my friends uh, that are like, you know, they're just like, oh, I just made a new character. So you have maps. And again, I, I throw them in their, our guild stash so we can uh, you know, have some uh, quality, quality loot shares. Because unlike in Diablo and Pua, you can share with everything. Oh, shoot! Almost. Almost got me, dude. Almost. Siege Bliss, the heck yeah, dude. That's one thing I probably should have mentioned in the very beginning. Um, like, I'm like, I'm like level one. If you're interested in a skill, you can literally just throw it in and you can level it up. I think I mentioned it before that you can swap to your other weapon. But I didn't also mention that you can use a Vol Orb on it, which can increase the level past 20, which is normally max. Heck, you can actually get... I, I do want to see 23 is the highest? Oh, let's go ahead and throw up a portal here because I don't know. Uh, oh, this is just the Brutus fight. Now we're going to go ahead and swap into. Uh... Oh, hi. Should bring back our boy Brutus. Which looks pretty cool. Hello, no one. How you doing? Should make a video no interaction. Definitely, man. E easy. Easy, dude. Easy. Oh, dude, look at it. Look, look at that. Dude, he's melted. Normally, like, this guy's kind of a, a challenge for me, I would say. But I, I know, it's it's a lot lower level. It's because I started doing maps, and I didn't want to, like, continue my playthrough. Because um, I was just kind of just farming, just kind of checking out, like, the the new mechanic, too. And kind of seeing how it worked. But from what I understand is you have to spam a certain amount of maps in a certain corner and that will make it so like the the boss will spawn in and like trash talk you as you're kind of progressing in the game Mexico. all right this is this is what this is what we're here to actually do oh you can't even use a portal here <sighs> oh the new boss there fight no snake guy from you, is there? i feel like we're, we might rip on him a lot though Uh, so I'm guessing, uh, don't stand in the triangle. And now there's a bunch of s snakes that come out. Dude, that's awesome! This is such a cool boss fight. <laughs> oh, 
Ooh. I'm gonna build some frenzy charges. Oh. Look at this guy. That was not that difficult. What the heck's going on? What the heck, dude? Dude, where was that item that we got? Dude, that armor looks kind of cool. Let's go ahead and equip it just to see what it looks like. Uh, I have to take off my uh, microtransaction thing, though. So, oh, dang, here, Ira is kind of nice, though. Hold on. You know what? I'll just... Oh, my gosh, people going online, offline. Okay, we'll, we'll just go ahead and take the... Uh... Wait, did, did he drop a stone or no? Oh, now we have the stone in wherever area? Whatever. Anyways, go back. Because I didn't think he dropped a stone. But I want to see what this uh, looks like over here. I kind of like this armor. But uh, let's go ahead and check out how it looks on us. Oh, it doesn't look that cool, though. I think the bow's kind of in the way. Oh. Move this out of the way, too. Let me get rid of my auras. Mm. It doesn't look that, that special, does it? This looks kind of cool, though. I just wish it didn't have her, like, little undershirt underneath, and it looked a little cool. I think then it would look a little cooler. But I'm going to stick with my uh, Demon King body armor, because I think it looks way cooler. Maybe I can get some gloves as far as uh, my uh, my transaction skin or something. Cause, or I could just use the skin transfer. That's usually what I prefer, because that's only a dollar. <laughs> uh, anyways, let's go ahead and uh, do the... Yeah, we could do the Metamorph right here, because the, the map was a relatively lower one. So uh, I'm not really too worried about um, the, the currency. Uh... Extra damage, extra cold damage, whatever. I'll just just max it out. I'm pretty sure at a 70, it won't be. I like how people are. What are they? 13 chaos each. What I'm just like listed on like you know the, the trade website, like you know most most humans. I, I hate like in Guild, Guild Wars one was like that, where like if you wanted to trade, you just spam over and over. Yo, want to sell? Want to buy? Like it's just it's just it's just so much better for you like your community. I'm not thinking of it fast. All right. Right. Oh, there we go. That's a good little closure here too, like a 40-minute little extra POE part playthrough. Well, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. We fought double of like the uh, the new uh, mechanic bosses. I'll have to like learn how it fully works, and I'll I'll probably explain it more in depth. But uh, there is like yeah, there's at least four like quadrants I want to say that you're supposed to do it in, and then um, eventually there's like some like other uber boss, which uh, we'll definitely get gameplay of that eventually. We're we're still working on completing all of the maps. You can see there's 154, um, and there's like some special ones, and I want to make a video specifically going over like the next special one, which actually, uh, well, the, the next special one that I want to do, it has to do with Halloween. It's a really cool one, and I'll show you guys it next time, or sometime relatively soon here in our Pure Week playthrough. But anyways, hope you enjoyed this part of our playthrough. If you're watching this on YouTube, the next one will be up very soon. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.